Hey guys. Hey Lexi, how's it going? We are going to get back into it here. And I'm pretty excited about it. Alright. <laughs> um, yes. Hopefully it's saved, because last time I had some save issues. And that was not preferable. <laughs> How you doing, Lexi? You're a sophomore. Oh, get out of town. I'm not ready for all that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, how's your school year starting off? Oh, nothing to be sorry about, hon. You're fine. I'll tell you the rest of the country in about time. Tune in tomorrow evening. Okay. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I gotta break into that one guy's office. Right. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, someone's walking over there. Oh, that's the end of the line for me there. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I gotta take these guys down. Let's go over here. Give me that shovel. I can drop some stuff, Arthur. Or it's gonna be tediously slow going. Fuck. Oh. I guess I have a lot of shovels. <laughs> I can let some go. Uh... Whoops. Damage, speed, damage, speed. Speed. Ah. I'll let it go. Uh, I'm going to leave that radio on. Oh, she's a cutie. How's Princess do win? There's someone over there. Whoa. I'm concealed here. Okay. I don't feel very concealed, but sure. Attention all personnel. Please remember to boil all water. It's not my turn. There have been some issues Oof. with the pipes. Two back to, to back. Okay. Plan of attack. Hi, Jane. Ooh, no, I can't go after you. Oh, there's so many of you. Attention all personnel. There is an intruder in the camp. All personnel, report to your counter infiltration station. This is not a drill. I am concealed. It's such a lie. They see me in that light, is that why? Lame. Lame. I need a gun. Uh, I had a bottle somewhere here. Glass bottle. You're a sophomore. Oh god, I'm just have to take them all. 
All right. I polish my boots one more time. I'm gonna end up with sandals. You know what? Fuck it. I'm about to just like. About to just do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Concealed. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movies will be Hellcats of Ramsgate. Stop looking this at me light. <laughs> shows one of Britain's finest victories. Don't miss it. I'm just going. I'm going. Okay. Oof, oof. Oh god. Fuck me. Nice to have orders. Don't have to think so much. There's so many of them here. All right. Hmm. You all going to fuck right off cuz that would be great. Attention all personnel. To allow time to repair the mannequin, bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning. Lock. Okay. Oof. Memories. Oh, I can't go. Percy, I feel terrible. I keep wanting to throw up, but I never quite can. But we're supposed to tell. But we're supposed to tell. We're supposed to tell the scouts about the plants across the river. Actually, you're supposed to tell the scouts while I nod sagely. I can't hear you. You're not sick, Percy. Just go and tell the scouts about the plants. I can't talk to them. Do you think they're going to be nasty to you without me? No. Well, I'm vomiting. I want to make my brother some tea. Are you going to just not show up? All right, look, I'll phone them. Just remember to turn the flame off this time. All right? Uh-oh. Okay. Anything else important here? No, I don't think so. E. Attention all personnel. It is time to paint the tacks again. If your feet are sore from marching all day, take a break and join the painters next Monday. Any volunteers will be excused from marching. Oh god. Oh. You'll see. Concealed. Okay, why were you guys running towards me? Creepy! Oh. see me. Ooh, I got lucky there. You are going to see me, though. Oh, fuck. Dude, move. Both of you move. Mm. Okay. I can see this is going to be rough. There's a guy over there. Um. You 
are not going to move, are you? Okay. See if I don't. Oh God, three of you. All right. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see here, guys. Ah, no, another one? Come on, okay. Uh, oh, I know. I know. Go over there. In fact, why don't you guys go all the way over Who goes there? There. What's that? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. We figured something out. All right, guys. I said the king was in General Bing's office. Someone is puking. Alright. And he's absolutely knocked in his desk. Why doesn't that surprise me? Hmm. Where else should I be going? something behind this bookcase isn't there i feel positive there's something that could open this something that could open this ah piano music eh maybe i should have a read and play it uh okay nope wrong one um Note, chord, note. Okay. Ah. Well, all right, clever clogs. A hatch. If it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. Ah. Uh, sabotage chair. Attention all personnel. Any okay. Let me have to remember where the fuck this is. Ooh, I will take that and just for safety's sake let's save that <laughs> I don't want to do that shit again god some dude is really losing his marbles over there I really want to go up there it's a bummer I can't alright Trigger alarm. Huh. 
none the wiser. Okay. I have to get all the way back over there. Sealed. Oof. <gasps> hmm. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh God, like, whoa. That was almost a mistake. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movies will be Hellcats at Ramsgate. This stirring war movie shows one of Britain's finest victories. Don't miss it. Oh, fuck. Attention all personnel, please remember to boil all water this week. There have been some issues mm. with the pipes. You may want to take an extra joy or two as boiling may break it down. Am I getting any closer to it? about be doing it. Give you a sense of purpose. Whoa. Attention all personnel. Some of the latrines are in the process of being moved from the old holes to brand new holes. If you see a latrine somewhere you're not used to. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry uh, a bit more. Fuck. Stuff. Okay. Um this kind of sucks. I gotta tell you, it's the one shitty thing about all this. Uh, let's eat that. Let's... I don't need so many scotches, so I'm gonna... Um... My weapons, though, I don't want to lose them. Um, sort by weight. Okay. Uh, cricket bat, I'm gonna let you go. Um, short spike, shorts out control boxes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm rubbing alcohol. Okay. Make sure it is actually over a hole. For reasons I shouldn't have to explain. Oh. 
Ooh, what can I do here? All right. Um, tools, weapons. I don't actually need to do anything. Keep hearing people. Keep that locked. Attention, all personnel. Any soldier interested in planning oh, next year's victory garden should talk to Corporal Elstree at mess. goes. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ollie. He knew it was a lung, didn't he? I bet he bloody knew. How do I get out of here? I'm not going to be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general secret hatch. That's my way out. Fuck, that was not a way out. Okay. I can't go through that. Fuck. I need to go around. Hi, dude. Holy fuck. You're in my way, dude. Trust me, I didn't want to have to kill you. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I see your footsteps. All right. Come on, dude. For England and St. George, come back for another. 
Oh god, enter hatch! Ah. I should just ran. Mache tanks. Newspaper and fucking glue. Right. Now if I can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie, that won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? Mm. Alright, map. Where am I going? See, I could go. I should go left around. Wait, no. Where do I want to get to? Where's my goal here? Oh god, trying to get back to where I should be. Still two bags of sugar. Oh man, sorry guys, there's not a whole lot of like talking because I'm listening so intently. But uh, what's going on with you guys? Let me know. Anything fun or new or interesting? Okay. Where am I supposed to get this sugar from? Fresh socks. That is answer to everything. Bloody fresh socks. I hear him, but I don't see him. Sugar. Stop cracking your damn knuckles. Hmm. Oh, you're pooping. Well, okay. Not to question why. Huh? Is 
So you don't really care then, do you? Well, I thought it was. Stop bringing me. Uh. Sorry. Am I sorry though? I don't think I am. All right. I get sugar though. I feel like I haven't found any sugar here. Ah, pointless side tasks. Wait, did I search this one? How do I do anything here? Okay, I guess that thing went away? Of the goal I needed to do here? I didn't steal two bags of sugar, or did I? get sugar. Leaves. I don't see sugar. I don't think I did. Okay. I have additional questions, but alright. Because the task popped up over here. Weird. puppy. Okay, that was weird. Peter just like dimmed for a second. Come on, man. Oh, that's right. Oh, all the way back across this shit.
unfortunately, I can only just slide through here. So, let's hope for the best, guys. How's it going? There's so much walking to this. Oh my god. It took you like 45 minutes just to walk through anything. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? Uh oh. Ooh. Memory. When is Uncle Henry coming back? I don't know. But we surrendered. We did. Look, Dad won't talk about it. Maybe they drafted him. How do they do that? Who's gonna stop them? I can't hear you. The Germans can do whatever they want until someone stops them. The Russians, for example. So why... So... So, so when is he... So when is he coming back? Oh, I don't know, Percy. I don't know. The Germans, they don't explain things. They just give orders. Why? Well, because, because I don't know why, I'm sort of worried that he might have volunteered. I don't understand. That's probably for the best. Oh, all right. Oh, well, thanks for coming back to you. Um, doing good, doing good. I feel a little sick lately though. I feel like I've been fighting the same bullshit for the last like three months. Which is crap. But meh. It happens. Whoa. Whoa, what just happened there? There we go. God, this is the part about this game that kills me. Like there'll be a mission that's like forty-five thousand meters away. And then you have to walk your ass back. But if you run, people get all like, ooh, while you're running, where you're running to? What you're doing, huh? What's going on? How's it going? What's your family? What's going on? And you're just like, okay. <laughs> well, I could probably come in the way I got out in the back of the station. Well, I probably could. But I'm going to ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Young Artie, come on up. All right. Sorry, guys. I thought I had a second for a glass of water. Meet Ollie in his tower. All right. Could be Margaret. You're still there, Margaret. Stay creepy. All right. You still creepy? You still creepy. All right. What is that? No! Don't use that. <laughs> oh my god, Ollie, could you be up any higher? This is what we call an unsafe workplace, Ollie. <laughs> My good grief. Look at the view from up here, though. Hey, a dirigible. Alright. I'm going, I'm going. Ollie. Hi ho. 
hi ho. It's off to Ollie we go. Oh my, is there more? What? Ouch. Ollie, you have mastered the art of staying the fuck up high. Oof, that's a drop. Alright. Can I loot anything while I'm here? Any looting? No. Alrighty then. Good God, Ollie. Jesus. That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew. How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie. Times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks? were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. We wouldn't have given them Percy and the others. It up? I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh, my God. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. What? If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I uh -oh. promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home? How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm? I can get to Apple Home. And Apple Home has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well then. Uh, see you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Oh, I don't want to lose our Ollie. Wait, I want to go back in. We'll be back in. Ah, oh, it's bullshit. All right, let me save it. All right, here we go. All the way over there. See, this is the crap that I hate. Like, excuse me while I take 45 minutes to get to the fucking bridge. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I feel like a zip line. <laughs> I came in, I'm being an idiot. How would I go? Whoa, bees. Yeah, no.
Mm. It's weird hearing these like automated voices around you sometimes. You're like, oh, okay. Weird. Don't worry, guys. We're just making our way downtown. You know what? Let me do some healing balm. Uh, there we go. Oh my god. 45 years later. So that guy has plague. What is this? What is this even? Who needs a chest in the middle of nowhere? Witches, apparently. They nah. seem to put their sacrifices here. Well, what happened? Okay. We're back. Ah, so many bees. I don't want to investigate the tiny chest. People are going to hurt me. Oh my god, game, stop freaking out. You know what? For fuck's sake, let's save it one more time. Just so that we don't have any fucking issues. <laughs> I feel like my game's gonna crash. Please stop crying. If some scientist had told me Percy was actually from Mars, I'm not sure I'd have disbelieved him. Huh. God, am I nearly there yet? Fuck. Good Christ. Hey, dirigible. Yeah, I'm finally getting close. Good God. How many holes would it take to fill the Albert Hall? Whoa. Wish I knew. We're all rotting. Like the food. Well, it's creepy looking. Alright. Uh, I have a skill point. Let me use those. Uh. Bye. Let's try this. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? 
Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe, <laughs> I Maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Is there? should have my other suit on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have my nice suit? Oh. Am I not wearing it? I'm not wearing it. Okay. Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Number two, now serving number two. What number am I, 20? Oh God. Welcome to the rehabilitation center. Oh, actually I I'm just too. a sort of Undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device. Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Uh-oh. Here we go, guys. Ooh. Going somewhere. Deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Oh, great. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Okay. Percy, I'll just go promenading about wondering why everyone was staring. <laughs> I did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Uh, shower? Wine, a still and wine. Mm -hmm. Go to me. Make the mighty yet go to make the <laughs> mighty make the mighty yet. Congratulations, you have been decontaminated. Please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Oh, I hope she's not watching. 
judging. Okay. Proper suit. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Oh, God. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, uh -oh. chocolate, or strawberry. Oh, God. Wellington Wells. Mm. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. I was serious about taking my joy, wasn't I? I'm gonna have to. Okay, if the joy meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties. Oh, okay. Sounds great. If you take more joy, you will miss memory loss. Oh! Great. Oops. Happiness is a choice. What was this? Everything cool. All right. Here I go. Please head into the theater and take a seat. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, look, it's Jackie boy. All right. You know what? I don't want to miss this. Let's have a seat here. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. Oh, Lord. Etiquette. All right, guys. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed. Naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench Relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute Hi, with Uncle. Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now... Please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Great. Hi, Akril. How are you? Things are coming out. Oh, God. Here goes. I enjoyed the world since 1953. Ah, oh, classic. All right. Hello, just Constable. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. 
Proper decent people. Don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking, or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them, and we shan't have disagreements. Welcome to my stream. Did you, were you streaming this? Oh God. Oh, wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are yeah. you ready to behave now? Our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Oh, oh no, Cashier. Glad he's still around. Mm -hmm. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. No. C. The eyes, the eyes. Oh, God. Yes, that's right. It never hurts. Yeah, hello do you like the game? Player two, I'm afraid the eyes, the eyes was not the right answer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna not make it. <laughs> That's right, player one. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Player two, I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. <laughs> Oh god, the eyes. Um. Oh god, the eyes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Clear one. That's exactly right. If you need to get somewhere, don't lurk about like a rotten downer or run like you're fleeing the scene or jump about. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Clear two. Do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers, B. Talk about old times, C. Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? <laughs> Why is everything staring? Yeah. Loss is too much joy. That's all I remember. So you can't find your house. I don't think I'm it would be who cares. That was a bit of a trick question. It's true. You can't find your house when you overdose on joy. But we want you to see the broader truth, which is who cares? Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can 
always come back for a seventh try. A seventh try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's a relief. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show Again? that you're ready to come oh, back no. to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper <sighs> citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal oh, son God. or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like I do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! Alright, all A's. Last one is B. I got this, guys. I got this. Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid the eyes, the eyes, was not the right answer. Mrs. Browning, hmm. what would you like to know? If you realize you're wearing rags, should you A, pop a joy, B, Put on proper clothes, for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? See? Why does everything have eyes? Oh. That's right, player one. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Player two. I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If mm -hmm. I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, About the gosh. eyes. <laughs> Hit it, dude. Boom. <laughs> Player one. That's exactly right. If you need to get somewhere, don't lurk about like a rotten downer or run like you're fleeing the scene or jump about. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Player two, do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. <laughs> All right. This is Sackville. Your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers. B. Talk about old times. C. Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. <laughs> Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? All right, B this time, you guys. Please, God, make them stop staring. All right, so A, B, A, A, B. We will play this later. <laughs> That's right, player one. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench, no worse for the wear. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seventh try. Of, oh, behave. I hope you 
made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot, if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Oh my god. That show goes on forever. Oh, okay. Okay. I have nothing in there. Okay. Good to know, because they took all my stuff. all crafting components. No. Um. Oh. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, okay. Take all my water. First aid kit. Empty torch, no. Um. Why not? <laughs> I'm taking all these healing bombs. Coffee beans. Hmm. I definitely need these guys. I've used them far too often. I did get a record. Hmm. I haven't had to use it yet, so... Um, and I want to take some antiseptic. I have any alcohol and I want antiseptic. Alright. 
Actually, you know what? No. Let's watch the TV like weirdos. You're right. Indeed, they did have tanks. No. A few of them. Just rest in and the And if ever you're inside of the Victory Memorial Camp, you can see those German tanks lined up as if it were 1948. I'll tell you how he beat them. With English cleverness, English patience, and English fortitude. That's how. If you want more details, and I don't know why you'd want more details, but if you did want more, you can get a wonderful book called Our Glorious Victory by Jack Worthing. <laughs> That's me. And it's available in just about every bookstore in Wellington Wells, and it's full of questions from all your favorite wartime heroes, from the generals to the common Tommy trudging through the mud. Okay. But you already know the lesson, Mrs. Tammy Goggin. Patience and fortitude. Stop dwelling in the past and enjoy our evening. Time, why don't you? <laughs> oh, no. I went that way already. Well, I'm a May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. All right, here we go. What is this? Isn't this wonderful? Oh, oh, well, 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 back to the last time someone came through. <laughs> So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need oh, I can't a letter it. of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. No. How do I get a new one? Wait, the old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Oh, okay. Let me uh, go take a joy here. <coughs> well, whoops. Are you sure you're feeling all right? That's the guilty bugger right there! <laughs> There's the one that did it! Oh, lovely. Another broken motor link pipe. I don't know who's breathing there. There's the one that did it! Alright, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah, I'm speaking. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh, I want to load a game. Hmm. I'm going to load. Sorry, I get so caught up in this game sometimes. It's kind of hard to remember that I have to talk to people. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, the one I did here. Yeah. A hundred percent. Oh. That will wear off. If I'm sleeping, and this is more nightmare. Whoa, this is not where I wanted to be. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Real quick. Just one, please.
Why do none of these look like the ones I did? Oh my god, first is all we're gonna be so pissed. You've got to be kidding me. Still alive. Shit. Uh, what the fuck with the save mechanics? This game sucks. Filthy bastards. I feel like this is not the first time this shit has happened. Oh Alright guys, hang on a minute here. Let me just zoom back over to this bullshit. Where did they go used to run the hundred bases? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. What were the points of the manual saves then? Like, that's, that's ridiculous. Okay. Do I still have my skill points? No, it saved none of that bullshit. Oh my god. Uh. Um. All right, fine. Fucking fine. Lovely day for it. Oh my god. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the pot. Okay. All right. I can skip that. Oh, oh bugger. Let's go do this bullshit real quick. Please take a number and sit down. Just, uh, watching the day go by. Come on. Come on! Come on, lady. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the rehabilitation. All right, I'm on. Please deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry. Well, I'll just go continue. promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. Wine oh my god. Come on, let me skip this. Let's to the go. next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Oh, I hope she's not watching and judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. I would In love case to. there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Go. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Oh my Get god. Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. There we go. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without mm. taking your joy, sir. 
All right. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? All right, take joy. There we go. Butterflies and rainbows. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. All right, constables, here I go. Please head into the theater and take a seat. Oh, God. I really don't want to. Excellent. Sit tight Come on. and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. Celebrations <laughs> of course, planned for it's joy It's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village, so don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll mm. appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin au courant. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. He's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute oh with Jack Worthy. Oh, my God, Worthing. come on. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. All right, standing up. Let's go. Okay. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people. Oh welcome, my god. Welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? No. Our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is Come show on. us that you understand how to behave yourself. A B A A B. At least I still remember it. <laughs> Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like how you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. Do it, buddy. There we go. Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid the eyes, the eyes, was not the right answer. Mrs. Browning, what would you like to know? If you realize you're Come wearing on. rags, should you? Let's go. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? See, why does everything have eyes? Yeah. There you go, dude. That's I couldn't right. just like leave this is crap. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. <sighs> <laughs> Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. <laughs> if I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to 
to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. Me. <laughs> I love that before I smash myself. you in the face. Like, come oh, on. God, the eyes. I feel like I should be able to take him, like, out the exit. Like, come on, dude, over this way. That's how we get out, bro. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Fail to do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you, A, give me flowers, B, talk about old times, C, Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? Come on, come on. Excellent. Yes. Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. Oh dear. It looks like I have you both, as they say. How uh. disappointing. Come on. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? Who cares? A, you can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. Alright, this time it will not OD. I'd fucking joy. Good God. That's right. Clear one. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench. No worse for the wear. Oh, clear two. Today is just not your day. Believe. But you can always oh come my back God. for a seventh try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. <laughs> I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Oh my god. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, let me move. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What? It's why can't I leave? To show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper decent citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready uh. to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that there you we go. how to behave yourself in one as well. Mrs. Brashiel, what right. question do you Let's have go. for our five guest Oh my god. Oh, I didn't want to do this again. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, I have nothing in my inventory. Okay. Uh, I am going to move. It's not very all. I'm going to move that. Move that. Move that. Uh, all the water I can get. I'll take one of those, two of those, three of those, that, 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 that. Kit, whatever. Sick up tea. Took all of that. Um, all my healing bombs. Um, 
All right. Oh, mushrooms. I'll need those. And I think I'm good. Whoop, nope, cancel. Okay. I have everything I need. Time to get out. May I express there my delight that you passed the examination, sir? If I want him to bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. Well, I wanted to give him the scotch, but it's okay. Alright, here we go, guys. Fucking finally. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Okay. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. Okay. How do I get a new one? People don't hate me right Wait. now. I'm not OD'd. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Let's keep going this way. Oh, God. It feels nice to not be... Oh, lovely. Chased. Another broken motor link pipe. I hope no one's breathing there. Alright, God, let's go. Finally, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, that was such crap. Uh, where do I need to go? To the right. Oh, it's weird. It's like muffled. All right, here we go. I know there are some like actual shops I can go in here, but I don't know which ones are which. Oh, that's cool looking. Should all acquaintance be for gold? Da, 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 da. All right, let's go. Friends, wellies, countrymen, lend me your ears. Don't you see that our world has gone mad? We're all in the same let's pretend game. We call a rat a cat, and we pretend our shopkeepers are coming back from holiday. And we don't talk about the most important event in our lives. And that is the gates on the bridges. Do you remember when they went back up? I don't. None of us do. But there haven't always been gates, have there? We took down the German gates at the victory. I know, because I walked from eel pie to apple home then. And weren't my feet sore, eh? Get out of our park. This is no place for free speech. When did we put them back up? I can't remember, but I'll tell you why we did. It's because the rich are robbing us. That's right, we're thin because the parade is fat. Shut up, you sick down a bastard. Black dog, wet blanket. They're eating our bread. They're eating our butter. And they've locked us out so we won't see. That's why you need a letter of transit. You're trying to bring us down, you rotten downer. Wet blanket. Well, it's time to tear down those gates. Tear down these fences. We'll have none of that anarcho-syndicalist trash, thank you. He's actually <laughs> telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, part of it. Oh, God. Don't get excited after That's what you get for telling the truth around here, poor sod. You? You listened. You, you're obviously a man of great wisdom and, and oh, perspicacity. They never listen, you know. If they just listen, I know they'd come around. Would you mind terribly posting a few of these? I'm sort of a bit soggy at the moment. Yeah, we shouldn't be seen together. Come back this evening. I'll give my speech. You make them stay and listen. Together, we can change the world. Part of it anyway. Oh, God. Where 
Where can I post the flyers, though? Uh, maybe later, dude. I don't really want to help you right now. That's an awful lot of bobbies. Wait, what? No, I don't want to try it. I don't want to try it. So useful. There we go. A map person, finally. I feel like I should take my joy, so I'm just gonna stand tight and wait for a minute until it gets pretty damn low. <laughs> All right, it's almost done. Let's take it. Oh, that wasn't much. It was only half. There we go. Ah, oh, that's wearing off quickly. Ah, uh, I want to go here first. All right. All right, we're gonna do this mission, guys, and then I think I'll looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Maybe. We're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, I could fill a power cell there. That's helpful. Is there a way behind it? Let me go back this way. Do do do. And now it's time for I Hear You, the part of our show where Jack Worthing, that's me, answers your letters and questions about our life. Is there a way in the back here? Huh. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how to get back there. Yeah, thanks. Joy is quite safe in the short term, and you can take up to ten pills per day if you're a man of average weight. However... Ah, I missed this. Friendly and affectionate. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Do you find yourself wondering exactly what your house looks like and how to get to it from uh, wherever mm. you are? Does it seem as if the shops and the streets have all been moved around behind your back and the map? What's your pleasure then? Mm. Morning. Oh, I solved my money. Okay. Uh -huh. Hmm. Do come again soon. We often have new stock. I can't wait for the new shipment of vegetables. Oh God, I need joy. Dear Mr. Worthing. Well, there's no need to call me Mr. Boyston. We're all friends here, aren't we? Oh God, it was a joy dispenser. <laughs> anyway. Joy dispenser. Um, my question is, right, Mr. Farrell. I need it. Hold. 
No. Doyle's left in holiday. No, really? He always... Oh, God. Get to the joy machine. So much joy. Hmm. Is this? Huh. Okay. I didn't see any ways in. Hmm. I'll take one more one here. Get in here. Hmm. I know we beat the Germans and made them abandon our sceptred isle, but how did we do it? Didn't they have tanks? Hmm. This Stanley Goggins. What was that? Power cell. Honest to God, I have no idea how to get into this room or this place. Oh, really? Derp. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot? It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient <laughs> thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. Oh. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave you right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. Why is he so you mean? You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Oh. Because I liked him? Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. Uh oh. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Ooh. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. The point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. Uh-oh. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling hurt better. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh. 
Fuck you, okay. ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologizing grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads. She's Scarper. Oh. But what have we here? A friend. A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny. You don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Oh, no. <laughs> you did it. You can't deny it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Pull out your shovel. Ow, <laughs> <laughs> ow, oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Fuck. Why was it pulling it out? Alright, fine. Fucking A. Fucking A. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Oh god, fuck it. Stand up. All the way back there. God damn it. That's an awful lot of bobbies. Oh God, I need some joy. Oh God. <sighs> All right, one last time, guys. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. There we go. You know what? You ass. Oh god. Who's <laughs> the one that did it? Oh. Oh. It's not personal. Oh god, you fucking dicks. Canteen. How fucking fantastic. Wait, so what do I what? Where do I go? Nah nah, what's all the scaffold? You've been having an altercation in oh the alley. God. Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Hi, Constable. Ryan. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St. George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St. George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you uh, 
I don't know. Uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location. The, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. Hmm. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Oh, God. Where's that joy dispenser? I need it. Oh, God. It was around here. There it is. All right. Come on, man. Hurry up. Take your joy faster. Attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I could tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at the reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Uh -oh. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's going to get his arse spanked. Uh -huh. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the inter-insular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate bestinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? <laughs> he deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Probably shouldn't do that. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Weird. Are you actually Percy? Plot thickens. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Nope. Other way around. Okay. I'm only literally running out of joy. That's cool. No big deal. Uh. Ow. Ah. Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. 
That's what everyone says. Mm. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep, and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. <laughs> I hope you like this sort of thing. Well, this is an unexpected surprise. Where do you think you're going then? Oh God. Here we go. But why do the Germans want children? I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. Why are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Well, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. Oh, sorry. Till the war's over. I guess. They're losing, I think. But the radio... But the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. Oh, people shouldn't lie. It confuses everything. Yes. Yes, it really does. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wait for this joy shit to wear off. I don't have any extra joy. It's so weird. Drugs. Oh, I have a joy pill. Oh god, use. There we go. Oh, that feels if they're alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. organized. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Are they renovating it? Ooh. 
booth. Oh god, let's go. Oh yeah, buddy. What's all that about Bobby Hickenbotham? He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked? Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's home. Maybe I could borrow it. I don't want to visit the Reform Club. Boo. So much joy. I wish I could just buy some joy somewhere. I don't have to keep like finding these dispensers. Uh, we'll see. Well, at least by the time I get to this motherfucker, <laughs> I will be ready for a top up, I think. Yeah, you take your sweet time in there, buddy. Not like I need a joy pill or anything. Hi, puppy. My dog is very interested in what's going on. A joy detector. I better take my joy. Yeah. Not here yet. Gotta keep going. Joy abuse. But Joy wears off so quickly. Oh my god. The reform club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's home. I have the best feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. Or, or, I could just wait. But there's no, like, fucking, uh, safe house here, is there? Uh, it's a house. Joy booth right next to where I am. Oh, he's getting spanked. That's funny. Where's the joy? How do I feel like I'm a, oh. Is there a hideaway house around here somewhere? Nope. There should be joy on this side, I would think. Probably. Somewhere. Where's a joy dispenser? 
I passed by it. I don't think he's terribly popular. I'd better be discreet about posting these. Post these somewhere? Hmm. Alright, I need a joy machine before my mind freaks out. There should be one right in front of me. Question mark? Poor thing. What's she on about? Hi, puppy. Okay. I don't really care what she's on about. TBH. It's the only joy thing in like a bajillion miles. Why does it seem like there's one right there? Is there one right there and I just messed up? Let's see here. Nah, it wasn't helpful at all. But like, where's that joy dispenser? Like back over here? Huh. There was a point to this. Where the fuck is a joy dispenser? to hurt yourself. Mm. I thought I was going to have to call a bobby. Mm, no, sir. Honest to God, where the hell is this joy thing? It says it should be like right there. So I don't understand. Is it inside that place? Is that why? It must be. All right, let's look at our joy before we look crazy. Well, I know know about that. You try joy? Joy? What's that? Well, it's this marvelous pill that makes you forget all the bad things and feel wonderful about everything else. Say, what rubbish. <laughs> what kind of creep is happy all the time? Do you know, the few times I was happy, I... Joy. I'm coming, Joy. Holy bonkers. All right. <laughs> and time for one more. You might want to see a doctor, sir. Okay. That's right. Fuck. Uh. <gasps> All right. My fist wear off. That's cool. stay here you can't keep taking joy you'll forget Percy yeah but if I don't have joy they're gonna fucking freak out on me whatever all right come on There we go. Is 
the dry dispenser was to the left, to the left. Snug as a bug on a drug. Please don't OD. There we go. There we go. Stay over here for 10 fake minutes. Don't wear off, Joy. Oh my god, don't wear off. Do I have anything? Oh, wait. Subway skills. Skills tree. Spirit. Unremarkable. Okay. Yes, I want that. All right. Come on. Fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven. There we go. Um, hello? Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Um, I don't exactly have uh, an invitation as such. Just a healthy curiosity. It's a private club. You must have an invitation. Percy, they said you got a caning at school. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh, did it hurt very much? No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes. Do you understand why? Well, why you... What? Well, why you got the caning. Yes. Did you really kick a rubbish bin in Slathy Crowden's face? No, I didn't. Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. Did it then go into Lester Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around the... He came around the corner. Oh, that's not at all your fault, then. Oh, good. I, are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I hate it when you're sarcastic. I oh, know. Uh-oh. Mm. 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 Mm.
Oh god. Oh god, I need joy. Uh, isn't there a joy thing in here? Hmm. Ah, poor guy. He was having so much fun. Ah. Okay. Well. There we go. Oh, God. the door Oh, I'm just back here again? What? Ah. Alright. I don't get it. How do I join the party? No one saw me hide. I bet I could stay here forever. At least until I starved to death. <laughs> Lovely weather. I don't think you belong here. Bagger off. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Uh, oh. Nope. Um. And I have stuff. Rubber cat suit. Oh, I'm like an utter perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity oh, and lightning and things. Exactly. Clothes make the man, don't they? his stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? Hey! Leave my stuff alone! 
If I kill all of you. Oh god. Someone needs a nap. Ow, ow. Oh no. Downer. Keep calm. Keep calm. Good, Good Christ. What have we come to? Oh fuck. Whoa. Oh my god, do I have any joy? Does anybody have joy? Oh my god. Okay. Oh god. Happiness is a choice. I really don't have a canteen yet. Like, are you kidding me? Ugh. Oh, God. Sexy vocalizations. Please don't make a fuss. Oh, there is a joy dispenser. Right frickin' there. Of course. Of course. Ooh. Nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them. So weird. Oh, it's so weird. Of course. 
But I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guest. Oh, God. I found your key. Oh, you're a good Perfect. Egg, you are. I already found it. That's a big relief. Mr. Cleland does so love my magic wand. All right, off with you. Shoo. Is that her magic wand? I could use that as a sort of unbreakable head knocker. I'm a fool, uh, that's what I don't use it for, though. I needed that. Oh, fuck. Lovely day for it. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Okay. Goodbye then. Alright. I see you guys. What about over here? In Rome, I suppose. Oof. They probably do do this in Rome, don't they? <sighs> Helpful. Where is his stuff, though? Super seriously. Okay. Still Bobby Hickenbaum stuff. Fucking where, dude? Oh my god. So many five pins. Empty, 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 empty. Okay. Honest to God. What? Oh, I've been in here. I locked it. Dumb. How? Where's his stuff? Oh my god. I have searched everything here. Look 
container. I have no idea where this shit is. Getting mushy again. Huh. All right. I'm almost done being OD'd. <laughs> Noise, Papa Joy. Okay, I honest to God have no idea where anything is here. I feel like I've done all that I can do. Does this go somewhere else? It's the same one that I bet on. Nope, same thing again. They're going that way too? No. <sighs> oh god, it's right there. Oh, I'm fucking pissed. Time to change our outfit. Uh, equip. Oh, here we go. What is that? Ah, that was an invitation. It's entire time. Lame. All right, where is a safe spot? Oh, I don't need to go far. Okay. Oh god, I just need to get to that place. Along, please. Oh God! What's done is done. Nothing to see here. The past is history. Now, now, mind your own business. Yesterday is no place to live. Oh God! What is that even?
Oh. Oh, there's a mask in there. All sexy vocalizations. They're not getting on very well, are they? I wonder if I can help him. Mm. I heard none of that. I think this caption is broken. I, d I don't want to help you, dude. Alright, here we go. You're soaked. I'm fine. You're not. Your lips are blue and you're shivering. Where's your coat? In the closet. Why didn't you put it on? I don't know. It's been raining all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It what? It, it wasn't raining. It was drizzling. Now you're going to get sick and then I'm going to get sick and then Dad is going to get sick. Hopefully the sexy vocalizations go away, because that's irritating. Alright. I heard none of your plight. Not a drop of it. Funny. You smell... important. Yes, I'm a chemist, and I've invented a new cologne. I call it Mojo. It makes you smell like a doctor. You see, Beatrice has always had a soft spot for doctors. And you know how they have that distinctive smell. Mojo makes you smell like that. And it works? Not on Beatrice. Doctors are much nicer to me. But she is not. Have you tried giving her flowers? She only likes night-blooming non-suches. And... Where would I get those? In the garden district. Right. Well, good luck then. No. Should be one in here. Really? Oh, I know where one is, but I don't want to go back and get it. I didn't get one? Ugh. Alright, fine. Oh god. I need to go hide for a minute while this shit wears off. Uh, items. What is that? Street drug. Huh. I do have joy water though. Alright, things are better now. I could take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Should have saved that for when I actually needed it. But you know what? Fuck it. Oh. 
Oh, holy crap. That joy wore off quick. What the fuck? Snug as a bug on a drug. Oh, God. Kidding me. Okay. Where do I need to get to? I fucking forgot. This way. <sighs> Fuck. Oh god. Go away thing. If I ever take the thing that makes me sprint. I know where the fuck I'm going. Mm. Alright, my joy isn't too bad. Uh, inventory. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. Odd. Why are there peepers patrolling the park? I should snoop around a bit. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to talk to her. Oh, it doesn't kill you? here for a minute, dude. Oh god, I have no joy. That's the Excuse me. I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? Hmm. The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know? Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, penchant? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, oh. You better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. What is over here? 
Lud's hole. That's where they quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. Oh, God. The joy dispenser. How helpful. He said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run! No, if you don't want to end please. up like him! Hey. <laughs> Oof. Well, about my merry way, you guys see nothing. Nothing at all. <sighs> Who was trying to hit me? Oh, God. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, bother. Can I cut through here? Ugh. Lame. Fine, I will go around. Oof. Let's go this way. So you guys don't see me. Ah, night blooming Norsuch. I should probably grab it. In case I see them again. The couple I was supposed to help foreverly far back. Oh my god, but I didn't. Because I'm just mean like that. Alright. This is going to be the last thing before I go to bed. Please. If I just get far enough away from him, he won't know where I am. He can look for me, but he won't find me. Carrying on about my way. Alright, so there is a home on this side, which is good. But let me get to Dr. Faraday's house. Before the end is nigh. Oh god. Come on. yourself, Arthur. What is that? I've really gone out of their way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. Fucking joy. Jesus fucking Christ. Why'd I have to fall for a stupid fucking mechanical imbecile? What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone. 
Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Oh, God. Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it. Because that's what I do, apparently. Mm -hmm. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. And, uh, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. Uh. The professor's gonna send us both away. Can you get us a new vow? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. Well, that was helpful. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! You've saved us. Mm. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. Still waiting for the sandwich. Workbench. I don't hear any James! Roger! Stop fucking the James! Roger! Stop pole dancing and bring me up something to eat! Uh. We speak Latin because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always, you always, you always know, you always know, you always know, you always know, you always know what each, you always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage, impedimentorum, of the baggage, and impedimentis, to the baggage. So, it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin, anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. Make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... When you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German. You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German. It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. All right, guys. Let's go meet this Dr. Faraday. Why have they locked up here? And why? Oh Better shit. Throw something away before something starts chasing you. I hate this crap. Wait, what? Oh. What? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh my take a god. With you. Uh, no, I want those. Mm. Yeah, that's how it's usefulness. Right. 
All right, Roger, you're weird. All right. Uh, I don't need a freaking teacup, but I left a whole bunch of shit on your floor, lady. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, wait. You can take your joy Okay, hello, lady. There we go. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. You're not James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in. What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers or gates. Or clever locks, or keepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant mm -hmm. to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm. How? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motoline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Oh, okay. Great. Joy, so there's that. What is that? Oh, it's a laser flag. Okay. What? I almost trapped me. All right, kiddo. Nothing else in here for me to get. Ugh. Either she's as brilliant as Sally and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? It was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Mottoline, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. Clever. When did it all become such a mess? Repair kit.
how do I get a repair kit? A repair kit. Can I craft it? Ah, I can. Well, that was dumb. <gasps> I wonder why that hurt me. It, but how do I get modally in then? Um. Oh. Handy little sucker. Power cells, I could fill them up too. Do I? No. You're trying to hurt yourself. You know the general, Sally. That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. Why did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? Mm -hmm. And why? What you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes uh, a portal of some kind? <laughs> the, the, the going in the whole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St. George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. Good lord. All right. I hope this isn't too loud. Oh yeah, it's super loud. Oh dear. Oh dear. Should have said. How have you been all these years, Sally? 
You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. Yeah. How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again, instead of all those dreadful things. It's suspect looking. Whoa, don't walk off the edge. Alright, so probably the last thing I do, guys. I know I've said it for a bit. Lolacon, hello! I know I need my joy. <laughs> So I need to craft that. That's where I parked it. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. This isn't, you know, discreet at all. Arthur, where are you? You are too old to go to Germany, are you not? Oh, no. I'm not going to put one more child on that train. This device at all. Yeah. Oh god, last one. It's only like four hundred thousand feet away. What is that? Oh, danger. We'll laugh about this later. I hate about this game is there's so many things that are so far away. Like, is that really necessary? Meh. Do I really have to extract three bits? Wouldn't two do? Oh dear. Oh. 
Bloody hell. I don't think I had a terribly keen grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten. Yeah. All right then. Off with us. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Blueprint. Oh, you're not a bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. Oh, God. Um. was the blueprint. Ah. Oh my god. What the hell was that? I hope she's all right. Maybe I should go check. Never mind tomorrow. Check on right now. Like she's gone. I can't believe she left without helping me. <sighs> well, I can. I just feel like a complete idiot trusting her. Chemistry upgrade kit. Um. Nine times out of ten, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, that does the trick. Mm -hmm. oh, for heaven's sake. All this for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fucking fuck's sake. Now I can cross the bloody bridge to St. George and find Sally's house and go grovel. Mm -hmm. Alright. Wait, press button. I 
up to Sally. <sighs> I suppose I could do that. The kid's going crazy. Okay. Should stop playing this game. I've been playing for so long. Mm. Let me get back over there and I'll quit this. Oh God. Keep taking joy like this. <sighs> I'll just wait a minute until this wears off. Thank God. entirely too good hello let's have a look at you shall we you're in tip-top shape aren't you you were so pleased you survived the garden district well there it goes i can't believe i went through all of that just to cross a bridge and go see sally well arthur maybe you shouldn't have been such an ass maybe you should have said oh yes sally do oh, talk to your friend the general for oh, me what a kind thing Oh, shit. I forgot about crafting. Proper suit. Offer. Why does God punish me for all my mistakes and let everyone else run free? I was like, what am I alerting people to? Oh, good lord. I am going to need a joy machine expeditiously. But what if the person won't take his joy? Well then, you need to step up. Please, that is done. Nothing to see here. Past is history. Now, now, my but there's a diner in the area, and yes, they'll take care of the rest. After all, it's their job. But if there are no authorities, you may need to take action yourself. Call your fellow citizens and let them know they've got a downer in their department. <laughs> Only a thousand meters. A lovely day. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, 
Ah, 30 years later. How can I help you? So much to choose from. Huh? Come again soon. You never know when we'll have something new. Hmm. What have you got? I got nothing. What? I hope you'll consider us for your future purchases. We get new items in almost every day. Ah, this game has some sputters. Come on. Let's go. This kills me every time. Ah, oh, still 700 meters? Holy shit. Don't worry, guys. I'm on joy. It only took me 45 fucking minutes. <laughs> Is this even? Ugh. I hope I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. There you are. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Ah, you. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links then? <laughs> Pull the other one? No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. I need to be dressed like a worker in there. If I'm not wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. All right, um... I need two out of five and five shrimp. Well, fuck. Oh, I can go to that store. They might have it. Actually, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. I have done a lot today. So, thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope everyone takes care. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.